been a while since I drew Sasuke sort of focusing on his eyes. So I thought I'd do another one. I found this cool one. I think it's from the 20th anniversary thing that they did for Naruto. So I'm on a landscape page, use a pencil eraser, hit pause. If I go too fast, we start with the eyes. Typical Naruto eyes, right? So we go diagonal and then across the top. And then we do this kind of spike down here, right? You want to sort of thicken this up, so color it like black, and then thicken up the top eyelid line. You could do it as thick as you want. I think I'll stop it there. So the bottom eyelid line then comes down and up they can join if you want but there's normally a gap in the anime so this is Renegan I so Renegan's always tricky so it's behind hair so it does he have three commas or I don't know so we've got like a pupil here right and then concentric circles. So always tricky. If you have compass, you can use them. But we'll just go around here. Right, and then around the edge. So, and then I can see a tome, like a comma shape here. And then I can see another one up here. I think he has a third in here, but his hair comes down across it. So I'll only have to erase it anyway. So I'll leave it off. So then his eyebrow goes up this way, up underneath his hair, right? So we'll go, we'll go this way. Right, and I'm going to just leave it. I'm not going to like, you could bring it to a point if you wanted, but you can't see it because of his hair. So I an eyelid line here. And then he has some like stress sort of lines around his eye because this is when he was like super stressed out. And then like another eyebrow line there. So we'll go over and do his other eye. So we're about eye width across, right? So the width, say like, not to the end of the spike, say like the white of his eye will fit in between both of his eyes. Right, so like this distance and this are about the same. So like here to here and here to here. Well, it's probably, yeah, probably is the black part. Right. So you can fit an eye roughly anyway in between there. Okay, so you go diagonal again. And then across like so. Do your spike again. And then we thicken up the top eyelid line. So hair covers some of this again, but we will draw it in anyway, because it's kind of just easier to draw the eyes and erase them after. And there's bottom eyelid line. So, Sharingan eye. So we got this semicircle, half circle thing. So we go the iris, the red part there, and then his pupil. A bit smaller than the Rin again. Like so, and then we got. Sharingan commas one two and then like a line that goes around and his eyebrow goes behind his hair here but 
we'll draw it in anyway. We'll draw in what we can see of it anyway. Like so. And then like eyelid line, come back that way. And again, super stressed out, Sasuke. Like so. So, he's doing two fingers down here. So let's say we can see, can we see, we can see one nostril here and say I'll do another one, say there. This one's behind his fingers, but it'll just help us get everything in the right place. Right, and then his mouth comes across down. And he's talking, right? So it's open. So we go around here and up. And then we can see teeth on the top. And there's bottom teeth. There's a line for his bottom lip sort of thing there. And then his chin. Okay, so shape first face will go up this way, right? So yeah, and you you notice like roughly chin to the nose is about the same as nose to say the eye, right? So say like not like the top of his eye, but say like the middle. So like roughly here to here is about the same as here to here, and then nose to bottom lip is about the same as bottom lip to chin. So that's like halfway between center of his eye and his chin. See, so this and this are about the same. And then this and this are about the same here to here. So this and this are about the same. So that's like rough the proportion, right? So then his jaw comes out and up to there. And we gradually sort of curve around this way. Right, so now we're going to cover some parts of these, right? Because so, he's got hair and fingers that come across his mouth. He's doing a jutsu sort of thing. So let's go for the hair first, right? So spiking down across his eye and the middle of his face. And then that goes in behind his collar. But this one goes down this way because the other collar sticks out. Right, so his collar here, so just he's got this, you know, his big collar that he wears. There, and it goes down off my page. We can just see a little lip that sticks out, like a zipper sort of thing. And on this side, it sticks out here. Right, and then some neck muscles. Neck muscle here, and then more hair in behind that. And then like some more hair here, and his ear. Just see the bottom of his ear. And then this hair spike goes that way. The other side of his collar, there. And the rest of his hair. Off the page. And I think there's like some extra lines here for some reason. shoulder the 
shoulder. And he's got like texture lines and stuff on his face, like um, dots and dashes, and because he's gotten punched a couple of times. So. Right, so then Jutsu fingers, so we'll go up and around, just in front of his mouth. Of course, you'll, you'll have to erase anything you, you draw over. Right, we've got another one in behind here, skinnier at the back. Like that. And then some knuckles or tops of fingers just here. And then you got like fingernails on the side. And of course you raise your lines inside there. That's it. That's how to draw Sasuke with his Renegan and his Sharingan. Hope it was helpful. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.